So the next thing to happen on a Monday Night Raw. Now, before I talk about the next match, we got to talk about a few segments that happened before the match. So, yeah, backstage. Well, actually, they just showed a nice video package of uh, Drew McIntyre and Damian Priest uh, because later on tonight they got a match against each other. I think that'll be the main event. But, yeah, pretty good stuff right there. And then backstage, we see Damian Priest, and he's talking to Rhea Ripley and the rest of the Judgment Days around him as well. And Damian Priest is telling Rhea that he's getting sick and tired of her going. <laughs> To Adam Pierce's lock, uh, to Adam Pierce's office stuff to try to talk to him because it's getting on his nerves and all that. So yeah, that's what he says. He says he says he wants to deal with Drew McIntyre by himself. And then uh, Damian Priest walks away, and then Rhea Ripley looks and she goes like, "Well, Finn, y'all got a match. You and Damian Priest got a match next week on Raw, and y'all got to defend y'all's titles up against DIY." And then she looks at uh, D Dominic and uh, JD and says that. Uh, that they should have handled DIY a few weeks ago, but now they got a match tonight against them, and uh, that Finn Balor better be at ringside, because she hasn't seen that viciousness from Finn Balor in a while, and Finn Balor was like, you want to see viciousness? All right, I'll show you, because he was laughing during that time, <laughs> so yeah, that's what happened there, but then after that, we see uh, Jackie Redman interviewing uh, Ivy Nile and uh, Maxine Dupree, and Ivy Nile was talking about how she got to Bell Hollow tonight, that she'll feed her down after what she did in Maxine last week on Raw, and then we see the Creed Brothers coming up, hyping up Ivy Nile, she says that she got this, and then she walks out there, so yeah, then we get to the match, Ivy Nile with Maxine Dupree at ringside versus Valhalla 101, now during this match, we see Nikki Cross walking across the stage, uh, in the background, nobody never said anything about it, so that's what happened there, and uh, yeah, we get to this match, and uh, Valhalla trying to do everything that she could do to try to beat Ivy Nile, like toss her up in the air, hitting a headbutt onto her and all that, trying to cheat the win by putting her feet on the ropes and all that. But then uh, both of them was on the top turnbuckle, going at it, and then Ivy Nile hits a bulldog onto Valhalla off the top turnbuckle, and then pins her for the one, two, three. So yeah, Ivy Nile defeated Valhalla tonight in a one-on-one -on -one match. That's what happened. For that match, I'll give it uh, I'll give it one and a half stars as well. Give it, but yeah, that's what happened there. And then after that match ended, we actually see uh, the New Day backstage and uh, Jay Uso coming up, talking to him and stuff. And then Jackie Redman comes up uh, interviewing them. And the New Day was talking about how the people forgot how uh, how the New Day can change and instant and all that stuff. Uh, and they said, where well, are you push New Day too much? Stuff like that, what they did tonight with Imperium is going to happen, you know. So, yeah, that's what he was talking about. And then Kofi Kingston was talking about he's going to be challenging Gunther for the Intercontinental Championship next week on Raw and all that stuff. So, yeah, that's what happened there. And after the title just like Jey Uso. And then Jey Uso said, you yeah, and they all walked away. And then we see Damage Control walking backstage as well while this interview was going down. So, they'll be probably doing something as well tonight. But yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Monday Night Raw. See you guys later. Until then.